Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to begin with a sense of urgency and concern, without reservation. The state of our economic landscape demands our attention, not as passive observers, but as proactive individuals responsible for securing our financial well-being. The world is changing, and it's time we adapt to the evolving realities, no matter how uncomfortable they may be. In the face of mounting challenges, some believe that the US dollar's dominance will endure, while others envision gold emerging victorious in the battle against fiat currencies, particularly the US dollar. My perspective falls in between these two extremes. I don't foresee the US dollar losing its throne overnight, but I am convinced that precious metals, especially gold, will become increasingly important players in the financial world. Allow me to explain why. Over the past four decades, we have witnessed a steady erosion of the purchasing power of fiat currencies due to practices like quantitative easing. Quantitative easing, in simpler terms, is akin to counterfeiting when carried out by individuals, but when governments do it, they call it quantitative easing. More currency units are created without any backing, leading to currency devaluation. Savers and investors, beware, for this threatens the value of your hard-earned money. Government debt and deficits have reached alarming levels, and this isn't just a concern for the United States, it's a global issue. Excessive government debt poses the risk of inflation and currency devaluation, both of which can erode the wealth of citizens. Negative real interest rates are another ominous sign on the horizon. When nominal interest rates fall below the inflation rate, the real value of your savings is being eroded. It's like watching your money disappear before your eyes, and it's a situation we must take seriously. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the cost of government. Astonishingly, many cost-of-living indices, such as the CPI, conveniently omit the cost of government, including taxes and fees, which often surpass expenditures on housing, transportation, food, and energy combined. How can we rely on indices that don't account for the true financial burden placed upon us? The market share of precious metals in the U.S. savings and investment market is shockingly low, hovering at less than half of 1%. This is a fraction of what it should be when considering historical averages. J.P. Morgan Chase suggests that the four-decade mean market share for precious metals in the U.S. should be around 2%. Imagine the potential surge in demand for precious metals if even a fraction of investors start to recognize the need for this asset class. However, human nature often blinds us to impending threats. We have a recency bias wherein we rely on recent experiences and data to make decisions. The prolonged period of economic stability has led many to underestimate the potential risks ahead. But history has shown us that economic landscapes can change rapidly, catching the unprepared off guard. We've become accustomed to falling interest rates, strong dominant currencies, favorable demographics, and the by-the-dip mantra. Yet, we must recognize that these trends may not last forever. The arithmetic of quantitative easing, debt, and negative real interest rates doesn't bode well for the future. The United States faces a daunting federal debt of over $33 trillion, and that doesn't even include state and local debts, underfunded pensions, or individual and corporate debts. These financial burdens loom over us, casting a shadow of uncertainty on our economic future. So, how can you protect your wealth and financial well-being in these challenging times? Start by diversifying your investments. Consider allocating a portion of your portfolio to precious metals, such as gold and silver. Stay informed about economic developments, and seek advice from financial professionals who share your concerns. Let's not forget the lessons of history. Precious metals have consistently served as a hedge against currency devaluation and economic turmoil. Don't be caught unprepared. The time to act is now, before the storm arrives. You owe it to yourself and your financial future. In closing, I hope that I'm wrong about the need for gold to rise in value. I hope that the current financial challenges are resolved without the erosion of our savings and investments. However, I regard physical gold as insurance more than anything else, a safety net for the uncertain times that lie ahead.
don't wait until it's too late to protect your wealth. Act now, for your financial well-being depends on it. Before you go, help us by smashing that YouTube like button. And subscribe to this channel. So you won't miss any of our videos. This shows YouTube algorithm that you value our information. And it helps us spread the message. Sharing is caring.